All right, guys, welcome back to the Car Shark Showdown. And both of our uh, contestants got $500 each for winning their games. The only difference is Jay got a joker in his possession. If he wins the match, it could be $2,000 for him, but he must win the match. We got three cards on the board. That means it will be a sudden death showdown. And we got three questions for this round. I wish the both of you good luck. Justin, this question goes to you. We, we found 100 women who have full-time jobs and asked them, when your boss yells at you, do you take it out on your husband? How many working women admit they do it out on their husband? 44. Going with 44. Jay, higher or lower than 44? Lower. Going lower, okay. Let's find out who takes it out on their husband. The actual number of women that said that they take it out on their husband when they get yelled at is. It's 21, it is low, Jay, good job. All right, Jay, here's your opening card. Your card, Jay, is a queen. Lower than the queen. It's a six. Freezing on the six, keeping Justin away from his cards, and we're gonna go to another question. The question goes to Jay. We asked 100 girls who are seniors in high school. Be honest, when your mother talks, do you really listen? How many teenage girls admit they really don't listen? Going with 50. Justin, higher or lower than 50? Well, I'm hard. I know I'm not a girl at all, but I, but I, uh, I do it, man. I'm going, I do have tro trouble pertaining to what people say sometimes. So, and, uh, and I, that means I really don't listen that well, so. A lot of girls might be the same way, so I'm going to say it's higher. Going higher, okay. This is a deep question, isn't it, guys? Yes. Well, let's see what this question is, what the answer is. The actual number of teenage girls that admit that they really don't listen to their mother is... Is 43, is not higher, is lower, so Jay gets it. Jay, you have the six. What do you want to do with it? All right. The six becomes a ten. If you call it right, Jay, you will be the new champion and you will go for thirty-two thousand dollars. And I will go lower. For the championship, lower than the ten? No, it's an ace, A C E. Justin, you got a free chance at the cards. Justin, it's a seven. Higher than a seven. No, it's a two! And just like that, we had sudden death. Somebody it has to win on this play of the card, so control is critical. This question goes to Justin. Ooh, I'm very nervous. Are you nervous, Alex? Oh, I am nervous. Well, let's check it out here. The question goes to Justin. This is the final question. We asked 100 millionaires, can money buy happiness? How many millionaires can? How many millionaires claim that money can buy happiness? Maybe it should be a high number uh, because I think millionaires, most millionaires, are very, very happy with the money. Some may not be though. So. But remember, this question says how many millionaires do say that money can buy happiness. Sixty-six zero. Going with sixty, okay. James and higher or lower than sixty. I'll go lower. Going lower, okay. 
We'll see who will have control here. The actual number of millionaires that said that money can buy happiness is, it is 14, it is lower. All right, Jay, you have control. Here's the decision. You have a 10, but you have the power to change that 10, and you have one card to go. Justin has a seven. He does not have the power to change that seven. He has two cards to go. Do you want to play it yourself or pass it to Justin? Uh, hard decision. Very tough. Uh. Alright, Justin, you have to be right on both cards. If you make any mistakes, Jay is the new champion. Call it. Higher Lord than the seven. Oh god. Higher than the seven. It's a ten. Alright, Justin. If it is lower than the ten, you will retain your championship. If not, Jay will be the new champion. Alex, who do you think it will be? I hope it's Justin. Well, we'll find out in a second. Lower than the 10. No, we got a new champion, it's Jay! Wow! It was the ace, Justin! Wow! That was a good game. The card was an ace, Justin, A-C-E. Wow. So, Justin, you're not going home empty-handed. You have won a total of $34,195. You can use that for any run you want to put it to. Now, since your name is already on the leaderboard, we will not count this on the leaderboard because your name is already there. You have won before um, $56,690 in your last run, okay? So, but you do get to use the $34,195 to any run you want to put it to. Now, we're going to talk to my friend Jay here. Jay, that was a tough game, wasn't it? I know. You have won $1,000 for winning the match. Plus, you have won a joker for another $1,000 that gives you $2,000 for that game. And, uh... Are you ready to go for the money cards? I am. Okay, we're gonna let you take a breath for a moment and we're gonna take a break and when we come back, Jay will play the money cards for his first time for $32,000. Stay tuned.